hi and welcome back today i have another product review and i'm having a look at the brand new oil pastels from paul rubens they are called haya oil pastels and they have kind of a different design compared to the previous ones i reviewed and they are also a bit different but i will dive a bit deeper into that comparison in the video I love using oil pastels in my sketchbook for drawing uh, because their big chunkiness of the crayon keeps me loose and I feel the results are much different compared to drawing with a pencil and that's what I really enjoy and I feel it's also less intimidating drawing with something chunky and maybe a little bit more childish compared to a pencil. I mainly love to draw birds, that's one of my favorite subjects and that's the reason why I have so many birds. And I will share a process at the end of this video where I draw an owl with these oil pastels. But I will now unpack them and then we will make the swatches. The packaging contains a swatch sheet for the oil pastels, that's really nice. So you can have this in your box and um, always know which or how the colors are looking. The set that I am having here is the 48 set and I will give you of course the links in the video description and also if I have a discount code you will find it in the description. At the first side, the colors are very vibrant um, and bright. And I will now swatch them. I will swatch them to the swatch card and also to the black art journal. I'm starting with the white. And what I recognized while swatching was that you have to check the numbers of the swatch card and the crayon you are swatching because some uh, I believe two of them were changed in my packaging um, and you maybe want to know which color you have they go down very smoothly and creamy but not with uh, crumbles I would say and that's one of the big differences I feel between the new oil pastels and the ones I've tested a while back um, these give you a more smooth finished layer on your paper. I will now speed up the swatching process a little bit. And, um, yeah, I will, I will tell you what I think. So far, um, I am very happy with these. I like them more than the ones I got before. Um, and I also like the colors. What I'm missing a little bit in this set are lighter colors. I'm someone who loves to use pastel tones when sketching and drawing. And there are not so many in there. And here was the point where I swatched the wrong color and the numbers didn't fit anymore. So I had to look which one was the wrong one. And um, so I recommend if you use the swatch sheet, always check the number before you lay down the oil pastel. I'm scraping it away from my paper and I will lay down the right color. And that worked pretty nice. It's always a bit difficult, I feel, with the greens, but I think this set has a bunch of nice and pretty neutral earthy greens, and that's what I prefer using. I'm not a big fan of these um, bright spring green colors. 
I will also swatch these on my black paper so you can see their opacity. I'm really happy with them. I think they are super creamy. I would love to have more pastel colors. Um, I believe in the bigger set of them. Um, there might be more pastel colors. But I would love if, if Paul Rubens brings out a pastel set. Or kind of a earthy neutral set for lighter and darker neutral tones. Because these are the ones I'm missing a bit. Um, but that's just a preference color wise. I love how smooth they are. That they are not crumbly. And we will now test a little bit how they work on paper. How you can blend them. And if you can do uh, some typical oil techniques. I have to say that I am not an oil painter. I just use oil pastels for sketching and playing and in mixed media. I sometimes add final details when I need some opacity on top of a drawing. But I normally never do a full oil pastel painting. So I am not, um, not a, a teacher for oil pastels. I can't tell you. Um, if these are great for a full oil pastel painting where you have to layer much, um, what I've learned is that you maybe um, should work with different kinds of oil pastels when you make a full painting. You start with the ones that are not so creamy and then you layer on top with more creamy ones. Um, but I'm sure there are a lot of tutorials out there. Here I try to see if you can layer these and I blended the green with my finger and here I go on top with some of the other colors and I'm very surprised by the white because usually the white does not go down very well but this one does I feel. You have to clean the oil pastels in between when, you la when you're layering. So I sometimes have a baby wipe laying around and I just clean the tip of the crayon before I go down again. I will now use the yellow and try to layer it over this um, green area. And usually that... Uh, it's a bit more difficult because the yellows are more transparent and that doesn't work really well. That's also something I usually do not need when I sketch with them. I normally only make two layers, um, but not more. Here I'm just mixing the ultramarine blue with two of the yellows, a cool one and a warmer one just to show you how you can blend them and that works out really easily with your fingers. To me one more interesting thing is if I can go on top with other mediums. That's always very difficult with oil pastels. There are not many tools or mediums you can go um, you can use on top sometimes uh, pencils do work sometimes graphite pencils work really nice sometimes the Durban pencils work um, I I think that's um, something I like to know so I know if I can use them not as the latest layer in my drawing and then I know if I can use them maybe a little bit earlier. And here you can see usually um, with a pencil you just scrape away the, the crayon and then it goes down a bit. Um, it also depends on the thickness of the layer you have underneath. Usually this um, graphite pencil I'm having here works the best if you need to go over with another medium or if you do want to make some line work on top. Not sure which technique I'm using now might be um, the one where you scratch away um, the second layer so you make a colorful 
background and then make a layer of black on top and scrape this away to get some beautiful line work. And this is something that doesn't work with every oil pastels because sometimes the black does not, does not layer on top, it blends. Um, but this works quite nice with these ones. And that could be a really nice technique for illustration or for drawing in your sketchbook. What I'm also trying, if you can make impasto, I think it's called, um, if you add a thicker textured layer with the oil pastel on top of another layer and that gives you quite a dimensional texture and that also works pretty nice here and this is something i use when i draw with oil pastels to make some marks especially on a bird on a bird painting um that's quite useful if this is working now let's have a look at the older Paul Rubens oil pastels. I am not sure if this is the new version or if this is just a different kind of oil pastel. If it's different, I would say this is a more of the, on the um, artistic side compared to the others um, because they work better. They, they are definitely nicer to use, but I will show you this in a minute, I just grabbed the box with the oil pastels. And when I'm working in my sketchbook, I always lay a piece of transparent paper in between the pages, especially when I'm working with oil pastels. And I usually do not work on the backside of the these pages because sometimes the oil bleeds in and that shows up on the backside. And these are the other Paul Rubens oil pastels. You can see that I have already used them a little bit. Um, and they come, come in this foam packaging and the others in this plasticky thing. And what I learned while working with the new ones, if you press on the top of the pencil, then um, you can take it out a lot easier from the plastic packaging compared to the foam. So maybe the plastic works a bit better. I will now compare two similar colors. Um, I'm picking a red and a violet one. Not sure if I also will pick a yellow. It seems so. So we can see where the differences are. It might be a bit hard to see this on camera because it's just a feel. It feels a lot smoother laying down the new oil pastels than the old ones and less crumbly. Um, I'm not sure if this is visible for you or if you can, can see this with the line because it looks, um, it looks quite similar. And what I also learned, it depends a little bit on the pigments. Um, some of the older ones go down more smooth than the others. But here you can see it, that the old one is more, more crumbly. I don't know which else word I should use. And this is more smooth, the new one. And it also blends more smooth on the paper. I'm also trying the red, which was quite similar um, when dragging it over the paper. But it's just um, the new ones are just better. And I would recommend if you want to get yourself some oil pastels, I would pick these ones over the ones um, I reviewed before. Both are very bright and pigmented, I would say. That's not a problem. Um, uh, 
I think I will also try out how you can layer with them. The layering with the older Paul Rubens oil pastels doesn't work as nice as with the new ones. You can see that. The new one just goes down better and smoother and more professional than the other. I'm now going to swatch um, the pastels in my black sketchbook. It's from Sakura, the A4 in black, and I just bought this one for oil pastel drawings because I really enjoy their opacity. I will speed this up again so you don't get bored. You can see that almost all of them are quite opaque, just the yellows are a little bit weak. Um, that I feel that's often the case with the yellows. Um, I'm a big fan of these uh, on the left side of the red and the blue. It's quite neutral and muted and I really love these ones. Um, and also the green I just showed you is a little bit more transparent compared to the others. I will now make a quick drawing with these and I hope you enjoy it. I'm using a reference photo. I believe I found it on Unsplash. I'm not sure, but this is usually the platform I go to when I need some reference images because uh, there you will find copyright free images to draw from. And I'm picking the colors intuitively, but then I would leave them out so I know which ones I have used. And I will also speed up this process a little bit um, because otherwise the video will get quite long. I found it quite difficult to pick colors for my owl because it was more neutral and I didn't find any color in the set that was matching my owl but that forced me to pick just different colors and this is something I find really hard when drawing or sketching picking other colors than on my reference and that took me out of my comfort zone and I really enjoyed that and I also love the result and I loved how these crayons or oil pastels worked on the black paper. And I was also so impressed of the white. Um, I think this set needs to have an extra white or it would be good if it would be possible to buy um, separate white oil pastels because 
they work gorgeous this one works gorgeous and you need a lot of i would say as always i will have a blog post over on my website where you can have a look at the photos of this painting and of the swatches um I will link that up in the video description. After I stopped recording, I decided to paint the background of the O with a light pink um, to just make the colors pop a little more against each other. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you like my little O painting. And then we will see us next time. Bye!